illnesses closed schools last week. Some are still closed this week. But anytime kids are ill, it can be tough for parents to determine how sick is too sick for school. So we have Dr. Shannon Cohen from East Tennessee Children's Hospital to give us some help with this. You have five reasons when you need to keep your kid home from school. We're going to run through those. So there's no question with these five. If right. your child has one of these or has these symptoms, they need to stay home. Definitely. So the first one will be fever. Mm -hmm. um, children with, we consider a fever 100.4 or above. If their temperature is higher than that, they could be contagious still. So definitely don't want them going to school until they've been fever free for at least 24 hours. Um, vomiting, of course, mm. and diarrhea. Those are symptoms that you would want to keep them at home and not expose other children to those illnesses. Uh, rash, because a lot of times those can be caused by viruses. And so we don't want to um, expose other people to that. And pink eye, that's a big one because it's yeah. very highly contagious. Mm -hmm. And you know children are touching their eyes and touching surfaces all over the school. Somebody comes along, touches it, and gets sick from it. There seems to be so much going around right now, you know, with the school systems. We've had flu, we've had strep, uh, stomach bugs, just upper respiratory. Are you all just seeing just a variety of illnesses this time of year? Yes, correct. Just tons of different illnesses right now. Um, so one of the best ways you can protect yourself and your child is good hand washing and hand sanitizer as well. And you said you consider a fever 100.4. Right. Um, anything below, are they good to go? I mean, sometimes like, you know, 99 or 100. Yeah, I think 99 or 100 yeah. is okay, but you know your child best. Mm -hmm. So if they're not acting right, not feeling well, even if their temperature is 99 and you just are a little bit concerned, keep them home to be safe. Yeah. Like something could be coming on. You, you would know as a parent what they, what they do usually. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Leanne, say that one more time. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, in prevention temps, you said the best thing is hand washing. Good hand washing. And what we teach kids is to sing happy birthday while they wash their hands, and that way they know how long to do it, and mm -hmm. they fully sanitize their hands well. Because we pick up things, and uh, my youngest loves to put his hands in his mouth, chew his nails, and that's just not a good thing either. Right, and at school, you know, you're touching all kinds of surfaces mm -hmm. and your coats, jackets, backpacks, all of those carry germs. And how did, I mean, I ask this all the time to people, but how did the doctors and nurses Stay not well. get all this stuff? I mean, I know you do sometimes, but how did? So I think that most of the time it's because we are low level exposure all the time, meaning mm -hmm. we're exposed to these in small amounts all the time. So we have a little bit ramped up immune system to things. So That's that helps. incredible. All right, listen, we appreciate you coming on and we know you're busy. Thank you. Good to All see right. you.